Welcome to Norway. We're on the northern edge of the country, a place called the Lingen Alps. It's also known as the land of the midnight sun, which sounds lovely, but it's not midnight. It's definitely not sunny. Luckily, we were here yesterday, so we can show you just how breathtaking this place really is. It's an area made of hundreds of tiny islands and deep blue fjords. And in the middle of it all is a little city known as the Paris of the North and the gateway to the Arctic. This is Tromsø, and since the first settlements were made here at the end of the Ice Age, the city's been a meeting place for the many cultures living and trading in the Arctic. Today, it's the meeting place for 37 teams representing leading businesses from across Europe, all here to do battle in the Cisco Euro Challenge. We'll be concentrating on the final stage of this three-day event, the Intelligent Sport Grand Prix, a winner-takes-all running and biking race around the city of Tromsø. But over the previous five stages of the event, teams have explored the region thoroughly, beginning with a night running stage here in Tromsø two days ago. As well as providing a tough mental and physical challenge, the event enables companies to build teams by placing their people in the heat of competition. And the bonding seemed to be going pretty well. The next stages took place on the islands of Someroy, a beautiful coastal area to the west of mainland Norway. Exploring the fjords, inlets and sandy beaches on foot and on kayak, the teams would face a day of tough strategic, mental and physical challenges, as well as meeting the locals. There was rest for the body, but none for the brain, as the teams challenged each other at the intellectual pursuit of Pentago. At the end of it all, Team 37, Telenor of Norway, had proved the strongest in the event so far. They'll go into the final stage, the Intelligent Sport Grand Prix, as favourites. Do you have a strategy for this afternoon's Grand Prix? Uh, nothing special. We <laughs> try to do the, the, the same as ever, work together and uh, make the best out of it. So let me see what the competitors can do, that's all. Well, this is where it all starts. Ahead of the teams, a demanding course of running, biking and puzzle solving in Arctic climbs. Let's warm up for the race now with Rob Walker. Thanks, Rebecca. Warming up is the operative word. The weather might not be stunning, but the setting certainly is. With 350 kilometres inside the Arctic Circle here, an added ingredient for these competitors coming to the end of what has been a gruelling three days. Tromsø situated on an island, they'll be running, they'll be biking and puzzle solving as well. All the ingredients here for what should be a fabulous climax to this championship. Soitron from Slovakia, their best finish is second. Well, this stage will be more or less uh, without too much of strategy. Uh, the only thing is to, to concentrate on the puzzles because they, they can uh, make the difference between the teams. I mean. Uh, Except of the puzzles, it's, it's straightforward and maximum running, hustling to the, to the finish. A couple of useful UK teams to watch out for. These guys are Accenture and Cisco Business Group. They've got some useful runners in there. And another team, number 12, Open Reach Engineering Services. They want to make their presence felt. What do you think you're going to really contribute this afternoon? Well, I'm good on the bike, um, so uh, hopefully I'll be, uh, I'll be leading the way on that. We'll see how we go. But this event is not just about physical ability. We have a brainy team, you know, so uh, we are not so uh, fast uh, running, but uh, these uh, guys around me is a uh, brainy guy, so I think that that's uh, our uh, strength. Brainy and big smiles. Another team focusing on intellect rather than physical grace are Microsoft Tromsø. I think we have done very well. Uh, we surprised ourselves in some of these tasks, and uh, the other teams have also done uh, pretty well. Uh, we we're impressed by uh, the physical abilities of some of them, really. But feeling okay about this afternoon? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, we're tired, but uh, we have a little bit of energy left. Great. Well, enjoy it. Thanks. And don't Thanks. go in those brain cells. We'll hold you to that. <laughs> I know. I know you will. <laughs> Only one of each team in play for the first kilometre of the race, but it's a chance to get an early lead on your rivals. Let's join Rob for the start. Yes, this is the solo section. Each team picks their best runners to make sure they do the 2K out and back onto the bridge to collect their first instructions. Few tired legs out there, but they'll certainly uh, give it plenty. Nice to see the smiles as well. Oh, a little bit of a false start there, but they're safely away. 
little bit of an incline up the bridge actually to the turning point and you can see the class out there at the front they're already quite well spread out some of the teams just wanting to pace themselves here long way to go it's going to be a tough hour and three quarters the 2k run sprint out and back then they'll pick up the rest of their team before a little bit of an ascent to brain cell one and how about that for a downhill section on the bike all the way into brain cell two they can make such a difference from here on in they're by the coast incidentally and what a stunning coastline it is here inside the arctic circle brain cell three then a two and a half k run into the final mental challenge before the glory of the finish quite a windy day here for this climax remember 1k out 1k back it doesn't seem like much but after you've been on your feet for the best part of 15 or 16 hours it certainly isn't easy 29 this is Scottish Water one of the UK teams really good run by them at the halfway stage and you can see by the wind ruffling on these competitors backs just how blowy it is up here on the bridge Hold on nice and tight, say the marshals. Probably the best bit of advice these runners will hear. A little bit of a downhill section as they go off the bridge. Scottish Water, 29, still going well, nice and steady. This is open reach. They're in second place, and here come Telenor. The Norwegians, the locals, they know the course, they know the conditions. Going very well indeed there, up into second place. That's a good run, and the British in third won't like it. Nothing more frustrating, I would imagine, than watching your team or your competitors race past you. Well, we're not having that. No. We're, 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 we're very clear. We're, we're going to be number one at the end of this, so no, no problem. Well, very clear declaration of intent there from Martin Holloway. He's got experience of mountaineering. I wonder if that will come into play here during the next hour and a half, hour and three quarters. They're very spread out and they'll be looking forward to getting back to their teams. The other members of the team are here chomping at the bit, ready to join the race and head for that first brain cell when their runners return. Let's see who'll be first back. Well, what a run it is by these two, Scottish Water and Telenor, side by side. Really good effort from these two guys. Good run as well by Eric Law from Cisco. And now comes the moment where they regather with the rest of their team. The runners may be taking a moment or two to have a breather while the rest assess what they need to do first. It's not about being quickest, it's not about being the cleverest, it's about working together and working well. Early stages, it's easy to make a mistake and lose people. 37 teams here, a lot of people trying to make their way through the start area and just decide on a plan before they launch into the next section. Long way to go for this guy, he's had enough. The Azuri communications team, they've got three squads here and one of their men obviously in need of a bit of a break. <laughs> Well, he won't enjoy seeing the next section. 1K ascent up to brain cell number one. Well, it may be mayhem at the meeting point, but once they reach here, the teams need to settle down and start thinking. Get the answer right and they can pick up their mountain bikes and get on their way, but get it wrong and they're serving a time penalty here in the brain cell. Coming up towards the top of this gruelling one kilometre ascent, an open reach have retaken the lead. But look at the gradient they're having to battle with here. No wonder they're spread out, this leading team at the moment. The thighs will be feeling it, the calves will be struggling, but they're definitely enjoying it. It's been a really good rapport with all the contestants so far, and, you know, perhaps improved on other years. So, yeah, just give them, give them all the respect they deserve and uh, let the best team win, really. And then beat them. And beat them, obviously, yeah. Well, the Esprit de Corps here over the last three days has been top class, it really has. Open reach in the lead, and now we're looking at Cisco having to put the hands on top of the thighs. A bit of an energetic uh, greeting for the camera there by ACBG. And now we arrive at brain cell number one. The key to this one is that the letters have a corresponding number. But after that hill, we've just seen them struggle up. Not easy. And the different team members here have different skills. They each bring something to the party. 37, that's Telenor, the Norwegians. They really have had a super competition so far. What is it that you think brings the team together well and makes you makes you successful? It's good uh, cooperation, that we talk with each other and discuss the solutions and agree on what to do. And all, all the team know what to do. 
Because I think we're very good at finding plan Bs. If something yeah. goes a little bit wrong, then we, everybody tries to find plan Bs. That's very good. What about your competition? Do you think you can beat them? Yeah, we think. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, beaten them uh, on some other stages, so we are aiming for that. Well, it may look easy watching at home or sitting here in the commentary box, but I can assure you it isn't. Cisco Systems and this is ACBG trying to work their way through this puzzle. It won't be that, though. It'll be like a massive number. You can tell the tension building there. Microsoft Tromsø, team number 17, one of eight Norwegian squads competing here. It's just uh, getting all the last energy out. That's the strategy. And getting the uh, puzzles correct, of course. But we are very smart people, so it should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we won't be seeing you in the brain cells then? No, absolutely not. Are you filming this? <laughs> well, the confidence is there. Let's see if they've got the mathematical genius to back it up. Remember, there'll be a five-minute penalty here for any of the teams who get this wrong. Well, you can see by the reaction there, Microsoft trumps it. They said we've got no intention of going into the brain cell and they're the first to make it their new home. Telena, another Norwegian team, they've had a go and they've got it right. That is excellent. So as Microsoft trumps a watch on, some of their compatriots, team number 37, are well on their way. Just making sure they've dipped in there with the marshal. They'll be heading towards their bikes and the next section of the course. The favourites, Telenor, were back in front with the brain cell doing its job and shuffling the pack. Dimension Data of Belgium, the Irish Vodafone team and Cisco in the blue all used their minds to muscle ahead of the UK team ACBG, who went into the lockup. I'm going to get him first before we go into the brain. What's the penalty? Early leaders Open Reach also got it wrong and gave Brain Cell 1 a very British flavour. Five minutes, it's disappointing. It's just a basic multiplication. We thought we'd change it, but back to school for us. Yeah. Change the tactics? Yeah. yeah. Take more, take more care of the puzzles, definitely. More care, because this is not worth five minutes, yeah. That's Bring more intelligent people. Here's <laughs> <laughs> an easy question. We'll catch them up again. I think we're in about eight now, so I think we're going to catch them back up again. We'll get, them on the, we'll get them on the bikes. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Team ACBG. Telenor weren't getting caught yet, though, and were well on their way to Brain Cell 2. Chased by the Belgians, Dimension Data, and the hard working Cisco team in blue. holidays for some then but it would be the locals still in front at brain cell 2. There's a bit of a village fate feel about this next task though you don't win a cuddly toy or a Victoria sponge for getting the answer right but you do avoid going into the brain cell. Well it couldn't be simpler for Telenor as they arrive as the first team to tackle brain cell 2. Cisco Systems in second, I mentioned data the Belgians in third. How many balls are in the vase? What about the brain cells? You've got to solve those puzzles, you've got to stay out of the brain cells. Are you feeling confident? Uh, we're quite confident, but uh, we have to take maybe one extra minute to, to make sure we get out of the penalty, so to keep a few minutes off the time. Well, coming up to the halfway stage now in this race, as Cisco, the second team, arrive at the puzzle. And this will be an indication of the strategy of the teams. Do you go for a guess? Do you avoid wasting time trying to come up with the correct answer? and get on with your penalty as quickly as you can. That is certainly what Telenor have decided to do. Just to clarify on that counting the balls, the teams have to get within 10% of the correct answer, which is 302, and it might look easy, but it certainly isn't. <laughs> that one looked like a, a bit of a tough one. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It is such so, a gamble. Yeah. You, you guessed that one then? Yeah, it, we tried to calculate, but... Uh, it was really difficult and we uh, realised that uh, instead of using minutes calculating, we just took a chance and it was wrong. Well, let's see how everyone else does. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, it could prove to be a good tactic there by Telenor, as the yellow of dimension data close in on the vase. 
interesting to see some of the teams getting down to the work and certain members deciding, no, this one isn't really for me. But how do you begin to work your way through this puzzle? Can you really count to within 10% when there are over 300 balls in the vase? Well, the Belgians obviously think you can. Some of them do anyway. Here comes Cisco. They've done well to close up some ground here on the leaders. It's an international team here, but they're having some disagreement. They all seem to have a different idea as to how many balls were in the vase. Well, we almost need the UN peacekeeping envoy here. Tempest just praying a little bit ahead of the final decision, which is wrong. Guys! Passion's running high here. Come I told you, dip, dip, I told you, dip, 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 Well, they can argue all night long, but the outcome is the same. Whoever made the mistake, they're all in the brain cell. This actually puts us in an interesting position here in the race because the first team to get this right would have a fabulous chance of victory. Nobody's got it yet. Are you frustrated, guys? Very. <laughs> <laughs> did you guess or did you try and work it out? A very uneducated Where's guess. <laughs> what was your guess? I guess it was 220 and we think it's far too low. Cisco Austria were next to try their luck. But it was a nine, a knot and a Norwegian net all round. Remember Monsieur Disinterest of Dimension Data? In the end, he did right to keep his data to himself and the Belgians were first to hit the magic number. Well done! Getting it right just behind them, though, were the Brits of ACBG, who were as good as their word, and retook the lead on the ride to Brain Cell 3. The Norwegians Telenor were down to third, but could stay happy if they could stay out of here. ACBG had the head start on solving Brain Cell 3, but Dimension Data would soon be putting on the pressure. Telenor arrived just two minutes down, only to see ACBG legging it away in the other direction, with a right answer behind them and just one more Brain Cell to beat. It's a straight foot race from here to the finish. The leaders, Team 20, have about four kilometres with one brain cell in the middle, but it could all change yet. See you after the break. Welcome back to the Cisco Euro Challenge here in Norway. Local team Telenor are the wrong side of the fjord while the leaders are arriving at the last brain cell over the water at Tromsø's Arctic Cathedral. It's a tough challenge for the Brits ACBG, working out the weighing scales puzzle with a bit of algebra and also weighing up the costs and benefits of spending time on the puzzle with Dimension Data and Telenor closing in. Chasers are just arriving as ACBG have their answer ready. It's the moment of truth for the British team. So they've got the lead. Have they got the last puzzle yes. right? Yes, they have. What a brilliant chance now for victory for ACBG. Dimension data, the Belgians going up to that brain cell. And the British team are on their way. The Norwegians, Telenor, they're still in contention. And as they watch, ACBG disappear back over the bridge. They realise they're going to have to solve this very, very quickly to have any chance. Which three weights balance the scales? They're under real pressure here, the teams in second and third. As the sun begins to set here on this fabulous scene, ACBG are on their way back over the bridge and en route to victory. Unless one of these two teams in second and third could catch them. Telenor now under tremendous pressure because they've just seen the Belgians go clear. 
So they need to consolidate here on third. They've got some good runners among this group, but surely the distances are too large now to make up. Are they right? Yes, they are. Now we're back with ACBG. What a great day they've had. They've paced it tremendously. They're disappearing around the corner. The yellow, that is the back of Dimension Data. The Belgians in second place. As the camera pans back down the course, we see the Norwegians in third and how they'd love to turn a bronze into a silver. Meanwhile, the locals who've been supporting this event fabulously over the last few days are deciding, well, we'll have a go at one of these puzzles. Which three weights balance the scales? Well, it's easy when you haven't done all the physical exercise as well. They think they've got it. And I tell you what, the Norwegians have got their way up to silver. Second place could be theirs. Now, have they got enough time to catch ACBG? That's the big question. They're driving on towards the finish, but it's too little too late because here come ACBG. They are the champions for 2009. That is a superb performance. Yay. Timed it well and delivered their killer blow to perfection. What a team. It will be second for the Norwegians. They'll get a good cheer from the home crowd. Well done, congratulations. How are you feeling? Oh, pretty, <laughs> pretty ecstatic actually. Uh, we've had a pretty, we've had a great week, but uh, this has really topped it off. Like we, good start, good run by Carl. Uh, picked it up through the puzzles, biking, excellent teamwork throughout, and oh, it's great to be coming over that bridge in, in first place. Amazing. It's just amazing. Really hard work though. Hard work, yeah. Oh, that bridge at the end is a killer. There and back, a constant gradient. It's, it's a tough finish, but yeah, it was good that we didn't have to put out any kind of sprint finish because I don't think any of us had anything in the tank. <laughs> well, you did it. You did it. Well done, guys. That strong run back to the finish saw Telenor take a well-earned second place ahead of Dimension Data. After three days of competition, it was a big last effort from all, with places changing continually on a hard-fought final stage. Sygate eventually picked up fourth ahead of Southern Water and Vodafone. We have been working really good together and solving all the tasks as a team and uh, mostly the, done the right choices, so we are really pleased. They are really, really tough teams and uh, we've done everything at the, at the end and we stay at the third place. So fantastic, fantastic. A wonderful afternoon here in Norway. The weather was pretty kind to us, but I think the teams are feeling the Arctic bite. A European title for Accenture and Cisco Business Group. They get to celebrate and warm up here in Tromsø tonight. For now, though, it's goodbye.